Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive in and take a look at everything that is to come with the free content update. We did get the showcase reveal yesterday, but they threw literally 10 books full of knowledge at us all at once and it's definitely confusing. In this video, I hope to explain it a little bit easier, a little more condensed, take out a lot of the fluff and just get all the information to you. That way you know what to do. There's some steps that you're going to have to use to actually prepare for this update because there is some form of currencies that's going to be very expensive. You will need to grind for them. If you guys do enjoy any of my content, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you're part of the 55% that haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I do daily content updates here on the channel. Now, let's jump right into it. Now, let's start with the next big update, the So Delightful Update. It's a little bit of a play on words, but I love it. Now, this update brings the beloved Sally to our valley, and her intro is as charming as ever. We'll team up with Jack to locate Sally and help her settle in, and of course, she's bringing her unique style with her. We'll see new furniture inspired by Sally's world, including a cozy rug, a bed that captures her style perfectly, and here's the fun part, Sally might even have us do some stitching ourselves. Look at this stitching animation, Sally has a delightful idle animation where she's sitting and stitching and it really has me wondering, will this open up new crafting options? Maybe we'll even get a chance to craft our own clothing items alongside Sally. Just imagine the possibilities, custom outfits and unique pieces inspired by Sally's design. Maybe Daisy Duck will get in on this and we'll have some quests tied in with her. But I think this could really be one of the most amazing updates we've seen in a while. To add to the excitement, we're finally getting some items from Jack's house. Finally! Fans have been waiting for this for so long, and I think it's a great addition for anyone who wants to bring some creepy, eerie, Halloween type of vibes to the valley year round. Jack's decor combined with Sally's cozy stitching setup makes for a fun little Halloween inspired collection that you can mix and match however you want with different themes and holidays throughout the year. Now let's not forget about the star path. This time around, it's themed around icy decor, perfect for those winter months. Imagine your valley covered in furniture pieces that sparkle like frost on a crisp winter morning. There's gonna be something for everyone here, whether you're into frosty textures, icy ornaments, or cozy winter vibes. One of the favorite items for me in the star path has to be the snowflake wand. It's not just a cute accessory, it creates beautiful little snowflakes around you. Now picture yourself walking around the valley, leaving a trail of snowflakes in the air. It's a small touch, but it really adds to the magic of winter in Dreamlight Valley. One of the biggest things that they've revealed is these new floating islands. Yes, we're finally getting islands that afloat above other biomes. From the plaza and the forest to the frosted heights and sunlit plateau, these aren't just any islands, they're separate, customizable spaces, giving us a whole new way to explore our creative side. To unlock each island, you'll need Dreamlight, around 15,000 per island, which comes to about 60,000 for all four. This update is arriving on December 4th, so you have about a month to grind up your Dreamlight, start doing those Dreamlight duties, get at least 60, 70,000 Dreamlight for sure, and you should be good to go. I know it sounds like a lot, but with these spaces being almost the size of their biome counterparts, the Dreamlight cost is worth it. These islands come with their own item limits, so you don't need to worry about your main valley filling up too fast. You can go all out with your decorations and even bring houses and villagers up to these islands. And the best part, you can visit these islands with friends in multiplayer mode. Now just imagine showing off your floating island creations or even setting up little gathering spots for you and your friends community members, or just friendly visitors. Accessing these islands is a breeze too. Just open up your fast travel menu, pick your island, and you're good to go. Floating islands open up so many possibilities for Dream Snaps too. With these islands having unique themes, their own space, their own item count, you can create truly epic snapshots that capture the magic of each biome for a whole new angle. I have a feeling these are going to be a very popular spot for sharing some amazing photos in the community. Now another amazing feature and something for the decorators out there, the next feature might be one of the most exciting. We're finally getting item rotation. No more being stuck to just four angles, now you'll have 16 different angles to work with for most items including houses. Can you imagine the creative freedom this brings? You'll be able to fine tune your decor layouts 
like never before. Even though paths and fences aren't included just yet, this is a massive step towards more versatile decorating experience and those items such as the paths and fences will be arriving at a later date. It also just reshapes how items sit on the ground which might help avoid some of those annoying overlapping issues we all know too well. And finally, let's talk about what's on the horizon for next year, 2025. The roadmap kicks off with an amazing reveal. We're getting the Aladdin realm early next year. We saw hints of Aladdin's fez and Jasmine's bracelet sitting on the table here, so it's almost certain we'll see these two joining us in the valley soon. Moving on to spring, things get a little more whimsical with the Wonderland themed update. We got hints that Cheshire Cat and other beloved characters from Alice in Wonderland may arrive as well. This update is likely to bring lots of bright colors, quirky elements, and just fitting perfectly with the overall whimsical nature of Wonderland. I'm excited to see how they incorporate the charm of Wonderland into Dreamlight Valley. And lastly, the moment we've all been waiting for, the summer update has me super hyped. Skull Rock is finally coming. This means that Peter Pan and possibly some friends, the teaser showed Peter Pan's feather poking out of the sand on the beach, which is of course an iconic hint at his arrival. I wouldn't be surprised if Hook joined as well, adding a new villain to the Valley's lineup. Imagine the quest, the decor, and maybe even a pirate theme addition to the Star Path. This is one update you definitely don't want to miss. All in all, this showcase has given us a lot to look forward to, from Sally's arrival, to floating islands, to epic character additions coming in 2025. Dreamlight Valley just keeps getting bigger and better, and I can't wait to see how all these features change the way we play, decorate, and create in the Valley. Let me know in the comment section which update you're most excited for. Are you more into decorating on the floating islands? Are you looking forward to meeting Jasmine, Peter Pan, Cheshire Cat, and of course, expanding your furniture catalog with all these beautiful new items. You can actually take a first little glimpse at the items that will be arriving in the Sally update with the fireplace finally turning it on and off. We got these windows over here. We have this window over here, which is going to be really nice. Also, the spiral floor and this black and white carpet here. It's actually the same exact design as the red one that came out in the Founders Edition. So if you missed out on that, at least you'll have a different variant of that item. It's just going to be a different color. But the update is definitely shaping up to be a massive one. As always, I will cover literally everything with Dreamlight Valley and all the future content. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be doing tons of live stream guides. We'll be covering it the second it comes out as long. Also with like the new um, expansion pass that's coming out as well. That's actually arriving earlier. It's going to be on November 20th. So only 21 more days until that happens. And I will be making a video breaking down everything in that one probably later today or probably tomorrow. That's going to be a big video because there is a ton to go over. This free update is definitely not super massive when it comes to new content, you know, friendship quests and stuff, but it's a game changer with these new floating islands and I'm really hyped for it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you all have the most amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.